What's going on everybody? It's your favorite host Bree Broderick with more exciting news. The Kyle Stewart has officially made the key play and has re-signed with the Frederick Flying Cows. And I know exactly what you're thinking. Bree, this just made my day. How can this possibly get any better? I'm here to exactly tell you how. The 6'7 Detroit native is here with me today to discuss the topic further. So Kyle, what are your thoughts about re-signing? I just want to thank the organization for for um, getting this getting it done. Um, I'm glad to be considered a, a core guy um, along with like Sledge, Charlie, and Dane. Um, just excited, just excited to get get back to to Frederick and and playing basketball in front of all the fans. So that's really it for me. Thank you for sharing. We're so excited to have you back. So why do you like playing for this organization and the TBL as opposed to overseas or some of the other options you've had in your back pocket? It's much different. Uh, of course, it's closer to home. So you always, it, the community makes it seem like you're your home. Like I'm, I'm back here in Detroit. Like they, they show me a lot of love, show all of us love. Um, the community is real close knit. Overseas, you can kind of be off to yourself by yourself a lot. But here is much different. Like there's always something to do. You always see people that you see at games in the community. So it makes makes you feel really good. That's great. So what are your overall goals for the upcoming season? I mean, there's really just one goal. I, I keep saying it. I keep I keep harping on it. Just bringing the championship. Um, I've got that experience once, and I want to do it again. I want to bring bring that that championship to back home to Frederick. So. Hey, you know what they say, go big or go home. So how do you think that'll positively impact the community? To be the first professional team that to bring a championship to Frederick, like I, I think it will I think it will mean a lot. Because I know they mean a lot to us and we mean a lot to them, so that's awesome. So not only are you returning to the TBL, but you will also be joining your teammate Charlie in the BSL this season as well, playing for the Montreal Tundra. So can you tell me more about that? Yep, so I'll be uh playing in Montreal for the Montreal Tundra. Um, I actually leave Friday to go up there to, to start. I've never been to Montreal. Um, I know we played those guys last year and we beat them. So just seeing how they do things, how they run their organization, um, and just new experiences. Seeing how, if I can help bring a championship to, to Montreal also. So how will playing for them benefit you for the Cow season? I'll be in full shape. I'll be ready to go. Um, I think playing all of those games up there, uh, I'll have my rhythm. I'll be able to just come and hit the ground running. So Kyle, I'm sure you know the drill by now. You're being interviewed by me, which means that I have to ask some silly questions. So my first one is Charlie name dropped you in his interview saying that you thought Detroit style pizza was better than New York style pizza. And he was saying, you know, that was a little delusional thought. So what is your response to that? Detroit style pizza is number one. There, there is, it's, it's no question about it. Um, Charlie's crazy. We've had, we had this argument so many times about who has the better pizza. The deep dish, it's all corner, the square pizza, it's just better. It's, you get more pizza. The, the New York pizza is all super thin. Like, uh, I, Give me the deep dish over, over the New York style for sure. I'm glad you were able to say your piece. So where is your favorite place you've played and why? I would probably say either Belize or Oman, my, one of my favorite places. Uh, Belize because, I mean, it's like you're on a, it's like a vacation all the time. You're on the island. You're in the, the tropics all the, all the time. So the scenery and everything about it was just great. Like you go to the beach whenever you want to. And then Oman was pretty, I, I like Oman because it was just a different, different experience, different cultural experience it being in the Middle East. Gotta love that. So what music is always hyping you up before a game? This is about to be funny because I know people, they think we all listen to rap music before the games, but I have a, a R&B playlist that I listen to before every game. It's like some of the artists, it'll be like Beyonce, uh, Tyler, uh, SZA. Summer Walker, just just a bunch of the, the female R and B artists that I listen to before the games. Yeah, I don't I don't really listen to any rap unless the DJ is playing it after we take our headphones off and stuff. 
Now this one's a little bit more deep, but what is one thing you wish people would automatically understand about you? That even though I don't talk a lot, doesn't mean that I'm not friendly. Like I, I'm, I'm quiet, I'm laid back, I keep to myself, but like you can come up and talk to me and we can have a, we can have a pretty good conversation. And I think people, once they do meet me and have a conversation with me, they see that. Thank you so much, Kyle, for your time and have a safe trip to Montreal. We all wish you luck. And as for you, Cow Nation, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support, as always. It truly means so much to us. And if you want to know more about us, please feel free to visit us at events, follow our socials at Go Flying Cows, and also feel free to visit our website to sign up for our newsletter called The News Post. You won't want to miss out. Thank you so much, everybody. And this is Bree Broderick signing off.